Mr. Pat Metheny is one who's managed to enjoy both, thank you. Besides winning four Grammys and the highest praise of music critics, he plays to sold-out crowds at concerts here and abroad. He's just released his 15th album, Letter From Home. Good morning. Good morning. What's the significance of the title, first off? Titles are hard for us, in general. Uh, we, we can write these tunes and come up with them one after the other, but it's always the nightmare to finally, at the Why? end of it, have to come up with a Why? title. Why? Because you don't like naming something? Well, you know, it's instrumental music, and, you know, we could call it My Dog Spot, you know, and who would know the difference? I mean, it's, it's really just a matter of, uh, you know, how you feel about it. I mean, in this case, Letter From Home somehow fit the spirit of this tune. In fact, we're going to play that tune. It's a, the title song. It's, just, it's kind of a, not exactly sentimental, but it's kind of a look back at things. And somehow, you know, when you think about a letter from home, it, you know, it's a storytelling thing which fits in with our mm. music. And this Since you thing. have so much trouble titling your songs, I guess you don't want to title your music for me, right? It's, I mean, I called it jazz, but, but it could be... I, I call it jazz, too, because for, for the most part, the focus of what we do is on the improvisation. And... Uh, I think that qualifies it as jazz myself. I mean, you know, there are pieces that we do that are, are more structured than others, but finally, the main reason that we go all over the world playing and dragging all our instruments around is to, is to do what we well, do see, is improvise. See, that's what I thought. When I saw Letter From Home, I thought it related really to your, to your uh, troubadour ways, you know, that, that you, guys, you guys log a lot of miles. Yeah, we do tour a lot. And I also saw where you said, actually, your music translates best in the United States and Brazil. Well, I think that in a lot of ways, uh, our music, be, because the United States and Brazil are large, multicultural, multiracial societies, uh, the, the music that's developed in those countries over the years really parallels each other. And we draw very closely from American pop music and, of course, American jazz, as well as a third of our band is South American now, one Brazilian guy, one Argentinian guy. Unfortunately, they're both in Brazil and Argentina I was right say, now. Some of the guys are here. We're, <laughs> we're, we're talking all, ar all around. Um, Paul and Steve and Lyle here, who've, who've been with us, uh, obviously, for a couple of hours throughout this morning. We thank you for that. But one other quick thing. This tune you're not going to do doesn't reflect this. But I understand that on the album you have some songs that are vocals, but there are no words. Yeah, it's true. This is a sound that we've... Uh been using a lot in the last few years. We have an excellent singer in the band, Pedro Aznar from Argentina, who has the capacity to sing in this style. It's like another instrument, and uh, it's very unique and something that uh, I enjoy writing for and uh, love the sound of, and, and we've used mm -hmm. it a lot. You just used a phrase that, that struck me a little bit on you. You said enjoy writing for. Most guys who, who write don't enjoy the experience of it, even though they enjoy it on the back end. You enjoy writing still? Well, I enjoy music in general, all aspects of it. I mean, I love playing, I love writing, and of course, with a great band like this, you know, going out on the road and playing is the most fun part of it. But, you know, you gotta have some music to play, and, and uh, it's hard to write. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's hard to come up with stuff that's interesting to play night after night for 300 nights a year, but mm. uh, I, I do enjoy it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way so you can do a letter from home. Okay, thanks.